Yo guys, 2020 is just getting way crazier as the passing minute. So Anonymous has done a madness today. So just to start it off, they have taken down the um, a police website, started playing F the police on the radio and threatened Trump publicly and released a thread regarding his past action. So they came out with this video, roll it. Claim that this is just the work of a few bad apples, but what of the officers who stand by and do nothing while they commit offenses against the people they encounter, and the police departments like yours who refuse to prosecute these criminals as they would one of the citizens that they are sworn to protect. People have had enough of this corruption and violence from an organization that promises to keep them safe. After the events of the past few years, many people are now beginning to learn that you are not here to save us, but rather, you are here to oppress us and carry out the will of the criminal ruling class. So, this first bit of the clip is obviously about Derek Chauvin and the other three police officers which people want to get taken down. If you guys don't know, Derek Chauvin actually got a third degree murder and manslaughter. So, third degree murder, this is the actual definition of it. So third degree murder can be defined as homicide committed with intention of causing bodily harm, but not necessarily death. It could be a killing that results from indifference or negligence or recklessness. Let's get into the second part of this clip. You are here to keep order for the people in control, not to provide safety for the people who are being controlled. In fact, you are the very mechanism that elites use to continue their global system of oppression, and the world is finally starting to wake up to this, and they are becoming increasingly angry every time they see blood needlessly spilled without consequence. So the first major thing they did was expose Trump. Everyone knows that he's got a bit of a dodgy history and that there were these allegations towards him. But it says, in addition to Stephanie Clifford, aka Stormy Daniels, and former Playboy model Karen McDougall, um, Cohen reportedly helped settle a number of rape cases involving Trump. Um, WMR received a list from a reputable Republican re 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 source of these settlement claims, of all which involve male and female minors. Crazy. And then there's all these lists of the allegations, one going down to 10 years old. So on Trump's tweet, um, it's Antifa and radical left don't blame on others. Anonymous replied to this, saying, you had Jeffrey Epstein killed to cover up your history of child trafficking and rape. We've, we have the receipts here. So on here it says, we need your help amplifying this and finding more information on Epstein's net of conspirators. Uh, you can start by searching inside his personal address book, the infamous little black book. See any familiar names? Also, one of the biggest shocks in that black book was Naomi Campbell, um, who's a model, um, actress, and yeah, like, her being in that book just shows how big this was, like, how big a cover-up this was, like, it's so mad, it is so mad. So they then released this whole bunch of names, um, it's just mental, it's honestly mental. Along with this, um, over in Britain, obviously Prince Andrew has been in a massive thi um, conspiracy thing and the royal family actually backed him. I don't think they'll be able to back him on this one though. So just on this one, basically, um, at the time, Prince Andrew stepped back from his royal duties because of all this speculation. Although um, there's several reports coming out today that um, the royal family have decided that there's no way back for him and he will never return to royal duties. Um, yeah, this is just what's being speculated at the moment. Because Anonymous tweeted, we assure you Trump and Prince Andrew had much more in common than golf. As for Sarah Ferguson, the Epstein network really liked Eastern European girls. Ferguson was very close to Epstein, Maxwell and Bernal while she worked for child charities. And then this leads on to a tweet saying Sarah was heavily involved in charities such as Children in Crisis and Street Child, targeting children from Eastern Europe. Her friends Epstein and Maxwell who purchased children from Balkans, child trafficker, paid her for what? So as well as this, this isn't it by the way, Diana's death, uh, Princess Diana's death, um, obviously that was that hit the country by storm when that happened. Like, if you're British, yeah, that absolutely shocked everyone. But they say, around the time of her death, Diana was visiting hospitals and care homes. Jimmy Savile was praying on at all hours of the night. 
<laughs> Consult Elm Guest House Victims and Recorded Palace Rape Victims. So they've got a receipt here. It takes you to a tweet. So when you click on this receipt, it takes you to an article from a mirror. Um, and it says about an Elm Guest House survivor uh, that claims that he was subjected to horrific abuse at the Elm from the age of 10. And that Diana saved his life and they actually kept in touch. Anyway, there's a story about Prince Charles that I'll get into now. It says, Princess Diana recorded the testimony by a rape victim of Prince Charles' staff. A missing tape last seen in the possession of Paul Burrow contains evidence of alleged rape within the royal household, which police were not informed of at the time. It emerged yesterday that the 30 minute tape, which has now disappeared, details claimed by a royal servant who says he was raped twice by a man who works closely with Prince Charles. One of the instances was said to have taken place in Egypt, but other at Royal Palace, the alleged victim, who is being paid less than £10,000 a year, is understood to have left the royal household with a £30,000 pair. That's nothing really if it's for the royal family, that's all I'm going to say. But police believe that the tape is a potential dynamite, that it, if it ever emerged, it could severely embarrass a royal household. The recording was made by Princess Diana, who secretly taped the alleged victim as he was recovering from his ordeal at the Priory Clinic in Roehampton, southwest London. The prince kept the tape in, uh, in a mahogany box at Kensington Palace, along with highly sensitive letters and a ring given to her by James Hewitt. The tape was heard by Mr. Burrell and Diana's sister, Lady Sarah, not even going to bother pronouncing that, shortly after Princess died, but when Lady, again, asked Mr. Burrell for a box to be returned to where the tape and other items were missing. Mr. Burrell denies having them and claims they disappeared from Butler's pantry. Christ oh mate. <laughs> anyway guys, there is more out there. This video will be too long to cover everything, um, but if you guys look about, like, Oh, there's so much information out there. These are like the big points from what's happened, but I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, our government's going to address this. Like, millions of people are talking about this now. It's so big.